Here is obviously a pleural surface of the lung. You could see some linear anthracotic subpleural streaking. You could see a major fissure. You can also notice that along this uh, pleural surface, in this area especially, but also throughout the rest of the lung and the other lobe as well, you can see these little whitish nodules. What could this be? Well, that's why we have microscopes and that's why we have pathologists is because we'll take some, one of those nodules and now put it underneath the microscope. And here is one of them. And even if you didn't see the previous gross specimen, you could recognize this as lung with alveoli. You could recognize that this is a nodule or tumor, a rather irregularly differentiated from it. Uh, and you see something in the middle that looks like it has a whole bunch of little holes or glands and you can see it's a little more sclerotic or necrotic in the middle. I would think it's as fibrous tissue rather than necrosis but we'll see in a minute. This is your run-of-the-mill classic slam dunk bing bada boom metastatic adenocarcinoma to the lung and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking well why can't this be a primary adenocarcinoma? Well, to tell you the truth, from a morphologic basis alone, even microscopic, it certainly could be a primary. There are uh, not too many easy ways uh, to differentiate primary from secondary uh, adenocarcinomas of the lung. Uh, if, for example, this adenocarcinoma of the lung had thyroid follicles and colloid inside of it, I think you'd be more likely to regard this, for example, as a metastatic thyroid adenocarcinoma rather than a um, primary adenocarcinoma of the lung that's making thyroid hormone. Notice how, like every other adenocarcinoma we've seen, we see a lot of irregular glands. They're growing haphazardly. They're uh, rather poorly uh, delineated from the surrounding lung like you see here and this one has the additional feature of having more of a fibrovascular core and uh, let's zip in a couple more times uh, so we can see these glands nicer and my suspicion that this was fibrous tissue or connective tissue with these blood vessels here and here and here and here was correct. This is not necrotic tissue. You can see outlines of these fibroblasts and endothelial cells very nicely. Uh, from the cytologic point of view, however, of these glands, they have all the routine features of malignancy. First of all, they are very irregular. Second of all, they have considerably uh, a good amount of variation in size, shape, staining properties. and they uh, have areas here in which you can perhaps imagine a little bit of necrosis. Maybe there's an inflammatory cell here, or maybe it's just part of a big nasty nucleus. This is adenocarcinoma for many purpose, uh, for all the usual reasons. If you remember from the gross specimen, which we'll go back to, the best way to uh, imagine that this is a metastatic rather than primary adenocarcinoma is because if you remember from the gross specimen, it looked like um, the tumor was stippled sort of diffusely all throughout the pleura like you see here. In a primary adenocarcinoma, perhaps you might see one main area uh, and maybe perhaps a few satellite areas, but this is rather diffuse. Also supporting the hypothesis grossly that this is not a primary adenocarcinoma of the lung. And thank you very much.